Did you know that you can make bread with wine? Hey, what's up? I have a very exciting recipe for you. Today, we're going to be making wine bread. A beautiful pair with any beef, probably to make your next steak sandwich. I'm going to use both sourdough and fruities to make an amazing bread loaded with flavors. So let's get into this, shall we? It's been two weeks since I made these fruities. Let's see if it's still active or not. Sounds active to me. So the night before I'm going to make polish, I need just flour and fruities water. And the consistency is something like this. The next morning, we have something like this. Bubbly, active, ready to go. And of course, I feed my sourdough starter five hours before I'm gonna make the dough. But first, let me show you how I make an interesting filling for my bread. I have a handful of raisin and cranberry and I'm gonna let them soak inside the wine. Lastly, I need to cook the wine to get rid of alcohol so it won't interrupt with the fermentation. Let's make the dough. We need 300 gram bread strong flour. Make a hole in the center and add the wine that cooled up completely. It's about 220 gram. For this recipe, I'm going to use 30 gram sourdough starter and 30 gram fruities polish. Last but not least, 6 gram salt. Mix everything together with the spatula or your hand. The dough feels a bit dry to me. Maybe I should have added more liquid. Once there is no more dry spot, cover it up and let it rest for 30 minutes. 30 minutes later, we have something like this. Little bit of gluten development, not that much. And go ahead and give this bad boy one set of stretch and fold. If the dough is handleable for you, you can bring it on the surface and round it up with the help of the surface. Make sure to wet up your hand so it won't stick to your hand. With the help of the scraper into the bowl, let it rest for another 30 minutes. Now check out these gorgeous soaked raisin and cranberries. 30 minutes later, the dough gained some strength. Beautiful. Remember the wine we soaked cranberry and raisin in that? That's the chef treats. Did I just make something like sangria? Was amazing. Wet up the surface and bring the dough on the surface. The dough is a bit weird, not as my usual dough. It tear from some parts, but I think it would be okay. Time to make it next level. All of those raisins and cranberry inside Plus, trust me, rosemary. Lots of rosemary. With the help of a scraper, lose some of the part that might stick. Fold the dough on itself while you are stretching it a little bit. And again, with the help of the surface, I'm going to round it up and put it back into the bowl. This time, I'm gonna let it rest for 45 minutes. By the way, did you notice my new table? It's adjustable according to your height. Don't worry, they are not a sponsor. But if you are a baker, trust me, you need one of this. Back to the dough, it's 45 minutes later and I'm gonna give this bad boy one set of coil foam. And another 45 minute rest. And of course, last set of coil fold. And let it finish its ball fermentation for two hours. My room temperature is around 27 degrees Celsius. The dough might not look so smooth and elastic, but don't worry, it's totally okay. Keep the bowl upside down and the dough should release easily. 
Now again, this time gently round it up with the help of the surface. This is called pre-shaping. Uncovered on the counter for 20 minutes. Now time to shape it. Into the banneton, I'm gonna let it sit on the counter for 15 minutes, then I'm gonna transfer it into the fridge for overnight cold proofing. I plan to make a beautiful sandwich tomorrow. So last thing I need to do before I go to sleep is to season my steak. Be generous with the salt, all the sides, and then into the fridge. The next beautiful morning, take the dough out of the fridge, put it on a baking paper and I'm gonna score it confidently. You know my oven setup and temperature, right? If you don't know, check out the video. Let it cool up completely before you cut it. Let's make an amazing sandwich. Oh my god, level up your steak sandwich next time with this recipe. It's insane. The bread itself is whiny, sweet, sour, the rosemary flavor, all of the good things in just one bread. Like always, keep baking and take good care of yourself.